Twitter drops its lawsuit against the federal government. Coming up, we'll speak with our tech expert about what the case means for tech companies going forward. Twitter has dropped a lawsuit against the Department of Homeland Security, saying the demand that prompted the suit that Twitter revealed the anonymous user behind an AltGov account has been withdrawn. And for more on the lawsuit and latest developments, I'm joined by KTVU tech expert Ryan Eldridge from Nerds on Call. And Ryan, first tell us a little bit about what led to the original lawsuit. Well, last month, the federal government, they issued a summons ordering Twitter to release information about uh, an account that they've got that's been critical of the Trump administration's, uh, specifically in their administration or their uh, immigration policies. So yesterday, Twitter uh, sued the federal government, blocking the unmasking of that account holder. Uh, and they said that the order was unlawful. They said it could uh, set a bad precedent. In fact, if I quote the 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 words in the suit, it said that it would have a grave and chilling effect on others voicing their opinions. Uh, the account is, is called uh, alt underscore USCIS, and it was created back in January. It had about 32,000 followers within the first two months. And now, as of just a few minutes ago, it had about 160,000 followers. Um, and they hmm. claim to be a current employee of the Citizenship and Immigration Service. Um, they posted messages that are at odds with the White House policies. And the administration has tried to clamp down on leaks in, in previous things. If you remember back just after the inauguration, when there was that whole dust up about the parks uh, and how many people uh, were at the administration or the inauguration. Right. Uh, ever since then, uh, the Trump administration has tried to clamp down on leaks and, and trying to control the, the administration's message. So this is a pretty important thing for them to do. Um, but of course, this, this raises a lot of privacy issues and right. the ACLU got involved saying that uh, this is a, a flat out a First Amendment right of this person. They can they can say whatever they want. And of course, Twitter has a, a long history of defending the, the First Amendment on their for their users. So do you think it was a violation of free speech? Yeah, I, I mean, certainly that's that's one of the ACLU lawyers is saying that's why the federal government backed down so quickly was because it was such a egregious violation that they were even asking for this information uh, and just a, like 24 hours they, they rescinded their order and decided they didn't want it anymore once Twitter said they were gonna fight them yes and this so, is so what do you make of that them rescinding their order them deciding that they don't they're no longer gonna be demanding that information yeah I, well I think that certainly says that uh, while the Trump administration would love to know who these these whistleblowers are or who these people that are leaking the information they know technically they can't go after them uh, otherwise, they would have started to fight with Twitter, much like the FBI did with Apple. If you mm -hmm. remember, um, back with there was that San, San Bernardino terrorist, and Apple and uh, the FBI wanted to get into the iPhone, and Apple said no. They just went toe to toe with Apple and said, "We want that information." So they clearly thought they had a right. The fact that uh, Homeland Security backed down so quickly certainly tells us maybe they thought they they knew they were in the wrong. So, what do you yeah. think this means for social media and tech companies going forward? Well, I, you know what I think it means is we're going to see a lot more of these accounts uh, come out. So there's multiple now. There's there's one called Alt underscore Labor for the mm -hmm. Labor Department. One called uh, Badlands NPS and one called Rogue EPA Staff. And all of these accounts are claiming that they're either owned by or uh, people that currently work for the for the federal government or have worked for the federal government and are leaking secrets or or uh, alternative uh, alternative uh, facts for what the government is trying to say. Uh, kind of just at odds with their policies. And what's interesting is some of the government's um, uh, orders in the past to Twitter has had included a gag order saying, we don't want the user that we're going after to know we're going after them, and we mm. don't want you to disclose to other users that we're doing this. But this order didn't, uh, didn't have that in it. Interesting. Well, yes. we appreciate your time. Thank you for all the information on this. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. You're welcome.